I'm glad we have this way to see each other. I don't like Zoom or FaceTime, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> I like talking to you outside Grandpa's window. Yeah, first time was cool. I scared you, didn't I? I scared you back. <laughs> yeah, now I gotta stay out of sight when you come by. We ever gonna get back to normal? I'm glad we got together before this coronavirus started. It was like the day before everything shut down. I know. I know you know. Man, we should get together. <laughs> I live with my crazy mom, and she has so many underlying conditions. Asthma, diabetes, a heart murmur. And she smokes? Yeah, she's busy killing herself, and I worry about her. That's family. She's too scared to go out, but not scared enough to take care of herself. I don't want to get my grandmother sick either. I know. I take my clothes off when I come in, throw them in the wise, jump in the shower. Then I go see her and my brother and sister. I like picturing that. See? We should get together. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking good. Very funny. I look like crap. You never could take a compliment. So you called to hock me? No, I called because I'm having a ceremony to say goodbye to Sadie. It's a little late for that. For calling you or saying goodbye? You should have thought of this when she died, not during a pandemic. Ruth, this is not for her. She's dead. This Michigas is for me. For what? For saying goodbye properly and to make room for new things. What new things? I can't travel. No, 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 on Zoom. You and Edith should be there. Anything for you. You might have something nice to say. I don't like Zoom. It's not real. You got a better idea? You started without me? Late. You're late. I'm lucky to be included. You told her. She knew first. Remember when my Al died? I had that big ceremony for him on his one year. Okay, yeah. You invented it. 5,000 years ago, there was Edith hitting the ground with a stick saying, I'm inventing the first ceremony. Hey, this is about me and Sadie. Breaking news. She's the queen of making everything about herself. Get a room, you two. What? I want each of you to say something nice about Sadie and then zip it. The rest is Alan and me. How is the trust fund, baby? You know, he sends me flowers on my birthday. Oh, that's because you're the favorite auntie. We're doing this on Friday. Not on Shabbos. Okay, Monday? Yes, the beginning of a new week, a new start for you. I have nothing to wear. So wear nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world, Sam, but I don't like looking at myself on the Zoom. Then don't look. I'm not going to sing. <laughs> no singing! No <laughs> singing! Thanks for reaching out, Chumba. I haven't slept well since the racial awareness training. Well, there's enough pain for anyone to keep anyone up. Did I tell you I was raised by Lucy, my black nanny? She put up with a lot, but I know she loved me. And I loved her. Well, I was raised by a black woman too, only she cleaned a lot of houses for other folks during the day. There was so much I wanted to say at that training. All in good time. I had a procedure yesterday where they took 30 milliliters of fluid from my spine. Really? It's a, a pretest to see if I'd benefit from surgery. What doctors can do. My son is a rheumatologist. You must be proud. Oh, honey, I'd be more proud if you gave me a grandchild. <laughs> so, what happened with your procedure? Oh, 
so many memories came back to me. I thought that Lucy was the one who called me Junebug, but she called me Little Junie. Mm -hmm. Junebug came from my dad's favorite black entertainer, Junebug Jackson. Black entertainer? The black entertainers your dad saw were probably white. I looked him up. He was white. Well, what can you do? Change my name. Junebug's a beautiful name. If the Redskins can change their name, so can I. June is good enough for me. Look at you getting things done. <laughs> oh, thanks so much for listening to me going on about my little troubles. No, I got no one to listen now that Glenn's gone. Oh, wait a minute. I got something to show you. As soon as I can remember what that daggone passcode is and how to work these things. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look what I found. Oh, he loved clowns. Thanks for bringing our pills around, Edwina. She was getting cranky. <laughs> I need my pills or my hands start shaking. We're sorry. We just switched over to an automated service and I'm working at the kinks, okay? Ready for a new activity? Have you ever heard of mindfulness? Give me back the keys to my car. Judge, in mindfulness, we make room for all our thoughts. Don't get me started. All I want is a cigarette and a haircut. Just one lousy cigarette and a haircut. What about bad thoughts? Hey, did I tell you the one about the 95-year-old Jewish guy who goes Not to now. confession? Not now, Mr. Katz. Let's begin our own mindfulness. I really appreciate your enthusiasm, Edwina. What's an eight-letter word for Forrest Gump's favorite soda? Dr. Pepper? Um, seven ups. In mindfulness, there's room to include all the places our minds will go. I left my notepad in the office, so I, I won't be able to take notes. Just pay attention. You are very antsy today, Judge. Close your eyes and take a deep breath together. Well, the priest says. Close your eyes, Mr. Katz. When was the last time you went to confession? I don't think the group's with you, Edwina. They seem scattered. They do. Maybe that's because you're scattered. Wait a minute. Edwina. You did not bring me my pills today, and that's the second day in a row. Forgot mine, too. Maybe this mindfulness mine is Edwina. making you spacey, Edwina. I'm sorry. I've been under a lot of pressure. Junebug, open your eyes. I don't want to be called Junebug anymore. Just call me June. So the guy says, I'm telling everyone. <laughs> That's the punchline. You didn't tell the joke. He's antsy. Mindfulness isn't easy. Pill distribution is automated. That's more efficient. We need more customer service, not less. That was my decision. This is not a safe space for me. Do I need to be on this call? I got a lot I could be doing. 
like socially distant dating your new girlfriend? That's nobody's business. Can we keep personal business out of this meeting? You all made it personal. I got work to do. Six feet minimum. <laughs> she shoots me with that temperature gun. I'm carrying hand sanitizer in my bleach bottle and I'm wiping down everything. <laughs> Is there something we need to talk about here? No, mom. I can't do my job if I'm locked out of the pill closet. Okay, let's talk facts. I'm 60 days sober. 60. Um, I meant 16. Fact. 43% of coronavirus deaths in this country are happening in nursing homes and long-term facilities. I gave up my part-time job for this. We're running a tight ship here. Now is not the time to tempt yourself. It's not a temptation. Just deliver the medication the automatic dispenser gives you. I am licensed. Is that robot, that machine, never gonna make a mistake? Artificial intelligence, that's good. Give it a month. You've double checked the count two weeks now. Has there been a single pill missing? No. You want me to clean up the pill closet? Yeah. You got to give a little, take a little, let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. You got to. It's for your mother's ceremony. What are you calling it? My big fat mashugana celebration of your mother's life. And I want you to direct it, Mr. Cecil B. DeMille. Eh? I want to feel love in my life again. Ophelia called me. And? She said you were out in the parking lot last night at 11. I had a doctor's appointment. It's a lockdown, Dad. You're not allowed to leave your room. But the appointment was at 11. It was for 11 in the morning on Zoom. Am I in trouble? Did you check the lights in the parking lot? You want me to check the lights in the parking lot to see what time it is? If the lights are on, it's nighttime. Oh. Allen time. Stay in your room. The service is Monday at four. Okay, lover boy. Let's do this. All right, here we go. You got to give a little take a little it's a surprise i've had enough of surprises this is special consider it a gift from glenn beatrice i hired a zoom clown no glenn loved clowns did i tell you that Oh, hi, Zoom clown. Um, hey, I'm a first timer. Um, anything I should do? Hi. Hi. Want to see a trick? The best trick in the world? The best trick in the world. Um... Okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the best trick in the world. <sighs> the best trick in the world now. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! Very good! What's your name? Liza. 
Oh, Liza, that's a beautiful name. And what's your name? Huh? I'm Stubby Girly Girl from the Girly Girl family. Your dad was a girly girl? My mom. My mom and I are girly girls. And when my mom gets back, I get to go out and play. Um, when was the last time you've been out of your room? You haven't been out of your room? When my mom gets back, I'm going out to play. <sighs> oh, Glenn loved clowns. Glenn! Oh, seeing you makes me feel like he's here. Yay! <sighs> You gotta give a little, take a little. You gotta have the blues a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. The glory of love. <laughs> nice, so beautiful. We're gathered today to celebrate the life of Sarah Blumenthal Katz, mother, wife, and daughter. That's right. Dad, I understand how you forget that mom died because she always feels like she's only a phone call away. I miss you, mom, and so does dad. That's why we're here today. Our friends from Serenity Hill and Aunt Ruth and Aunt Edith are here too. Uh, for the record, he was 13 when we were born. He came out first, which makes me the baby. <laughs> the twins were my bar mitzvah surprise. My father had his tubes tied, so boy, was he surprised. <laughs> uh -uh. <All> right. <laughs> Aunt Edith? You were very lucky to find such a good woman. And your Sadie was one of the best. Sarah Blumenthal. Blumenthal means Valley of the Flowers. And Sarah is woman minister. May her memory be a blessing. Mom took care of everything till the day she died. Dad, this is where you say what you loved about her. My wife Sadie laughed at my jokes and hummed along with my songs. She tucked me in when I was sick, found the spot I couldn't reach on my back, and my Sadie was a good kisser. Mm. My mother taught her that the stomach is the quickest way to a man's heart, so she made the best brisket. I refuse to try another. I make a pretty good brisket. Sadie raised Alan and wouldn't let me ruin him. He could have been a doctor, maybe a lawyer, but Sadie taught him that the market was good, and now he made so much money, he could retire at 50. Look at him, a face only a mother could love. <laughs> Why is there a clown here? Oh, because she's my friend. Hi. Glenn invited clowns to all their big events. Yeah. Samuel? We put together a video for you. Let's watch. Her eyes sky blue and cloud white hair. She blessed every day. No question, no just, just care. And, and we think to ourselves. She looks she special, special in the house. The decades of marriage were fun for those two. The joy on their faces, they rarely were blue. 
I see friends waving hands saying we're, we're watching, watching you. you. They're really saying I, I love you. you. I hear Alan cry for his mother, his wall. And Sam misses her more than, than we'll ever know. And we think to ourselves, all the feelings will swirl. We remember that it was What a wonderful Thank you, every one of you. Wasn't that beautiful, Judge? Um, um, um. The clipped. I'm flossing. I get down on a knee, but my sciatica won't. Judge. Betty, will, will you marry me? Um. Uh, yes. Um. I'm going to cry. Um, you did what you did, Dad? No. Something once dropped between the cracks It felt like slamming doors Our tender hearts had both been smashed But we picked them up off the floor You're my sun, I'm your moon Your love for me shines back on you We said we would be honest We said we would be true Though I'd love to promise it I'll choose each 